There you see them, number 13, Franco Ancini. Alongside him, Ancini in pole position, alongside Ancini, Freddie Spencer on the Honda three-cylinder. Then Graham Crosby in the red and white Yamaha. Alongside Crosby is Marco Luccinelli, the world champion. Alongside him, Kenny Roberts back on the second row, row of the grid after a disastrous practice burnt out two pistons had trouble with the, his suspension Barry Sheen and but in worse trouble than Barry is Randy Momola Randy Momola finished second in the world championship last year so far only scored four world championship points can Randy make amends here at Misano while well, they're getting ready for the off always push starts in world championship Grand Prix many other races have clutch starts but this is always a push start at a Grand Prix the last final moments, the seconds tick away, they're poised, the patter of tiny feet, and who's going to fire first? It looks like Marco Luccinelli, yes, number one, the world champion, does a little wheelie and gets into the lead first. Barry Sheen, I think, was third. Graham Crosby, I saw, made a very slow start, but it is Marco Luccinelli, yes, Kenny Roberts is second. Third, Barry Sheen, so a good start from Barry Sheen, he'll be pleased about that after that poor practice performance. And they sweep away this circuit lined by concrete barriers all the way around so the fans can't uh, get in without paying but 60,000 definitely have paid and now they go on to a long sweeping straight that's the corner they call the Cavoni then up to about 165 miles an hour going up through the gearbox and just look and Kenny Roberts has taken the lead yes Kenny Roberts has zapped past Marco Luccinelli and they break down into this third gear to Monto corner and it is undoubtedly Kenny Roberts on the new V4 Yamaha, only at second race, sorry, third race in the lead from Marco Luccinelli. Barry Sheen looks as if he's still in third place. Franco Ancini is in fifth. But there he is, number three, King Kenny Roberts and Marco Luccinelli just takes the inside line and takes it away from him. It's Freddie Spencer now third. Barry Sheen is fourth. Marco Ancini was taking Barry Sheen. But it is Marco Luccinelli. from Louisiana in his very first season of Grand Prix racing already something of a sensation just 20 years old came to Britain when he was 18 and was a sensation in the transatlantic series now he's doing it all in the world championship looking for Honda's first win since the 1960s and this could be the race today certainly it's a Honda in the lead number one Marco Luccinelli down that long shoot again hard on the brakes right down from 165 to perhaps 80 miles an hour third gear third gear for certainly for kenny roberts some of them are taking it in second but lots of talk from the v4 yamaha the only v4 yamaha in the field and there franco and Chini in fourth place on the blue suzuki the highest place suzuki so far barry sheen in fifth was he looking down at the motor i'm not sure barry sheen in fifth Corky Ballington was in sixth place. And there is Uncini, 27 years old. His first season as a 500cc factory rider. Suzuki, remember, have two separate factory teams. One in Britain, Randy Momola rides for that one. And then one out of Italy, managed by the ex-rider Roberto Dalina. And that is the team that Franco Uncini rides for. He won the Austrian Grand Prix and he looks as if he's trying to take third place from Freddie Spencer, didn't quite make it. They very nearly touched, that was quite an incident, but Franco Ancini is obviously having a charge. Kenny Roberts well touched down behind the bubble. Freddie Spencer trying hard. Spencer on the three-cylinder Honda, a V3, these Hondas. Honda had two, almost three seasons of going well, uh, of, of racing with four-cylinder, uh, four-cylinder, four-stroke bikes. That didn't work out. They've gone to two strokes with these three-cylinder two-strokes, and it's such an improvement. So Franco Ancini holding a watching brief in fourth place. It looks as if Barry Sheen's dropping back a little bit. Kenny Roberts slides his backside across the motorcycle. There is Lucanelli. 
just look how close his knee is to the ground. They wear pads on their knees to stop the leathers wearing out. And Marco Lucanelli, I would suggest he's starting to pull away a little bit. Are we going to have our first Honda win? Well, one man who try and see, stop that is Kenny Roberts. Graham Crosby seems to be coming up. Graham Crosby now shadowing Court Ballington. There's the green leathers of Court Ballington and the new patches on the track. You'll notice those new patches. Now, they caused quite a bit of controversy before practice. And there was even a suggestion that uh, some riders would boycott this race. But the new patching seems to have worked out all right. Everybody seems happy. And they're certainly setting a fast pace here. And Freddie Spencer just taking second place. Yes, at the end of the long straight. Freddie Spencer, the young American, got past the much more experienced American, Kenny Roberts. So we have a new order at the front. Marco Lucanelli in the lead. Second, Freddie Spencer. Honda's first and second. Uncini is now third. Uncini has just snapped past Kenny Roberts and the back wheel almost snaps out too as the bike does a little shimmy as it comes out of the corner. There is Lucanelli in the lead. Marco Lucanelli, 27-year-old, fun-loving Italian. On Friday night, I can tell you, he was at a party until quite late, singing his own record. He's made a record and uh, he was certainly enjoying that party, but uh, it doesn't seem to have affected his performance today. And Barry Sheen seems to have lost this leading quartet. Barry Sheen in fifth place, dropping back. Now, that's a shame for the British fans. Barry. There is Barry now. Remember, he's finished second in the three Grand Prix he's taken part in this year. This was his chance to actually take the lead of the World Championship. But it doesn't look as if it's to be. Freddie Spencer going well with blue overalls, blue leathers of Franco and Cini. And just look at the way Lucanelli is tucked under the bubble, but Freddie Spencer closing up under braking. Freddie Spencer racing at this track for the very first time. Marto Lucanelli knows it well, raced in many Italian championship races here. Marco, the world champion last year after a great battle with uh, Kenny Roberts and Randy Mamola. And Uncini, yes, taking second place from Freddie Spencer. Well, Franco Uncini is the matchstick man of motorcycle racing. Very, very thin, weighs less than nine. So he looks as if he's taking the lead. Yes, Franco Ancini. One corner, he goes to second place. The next corner, he takes the lead from Marco Lucinelli. So it's now Lucinelli against Ancini. And those two men do not like each other very much, I have to tell you. But the Austrian Grand Prix, they had a great race together. And on the very last corner, when they were side by side, Lucinelli fell off and Franco Ancini went on to win. And that was his very first 500cc world championship victory he has won world championship races before he rode for harley davidson in the 1977 250cc world championship and was in fact the runner-up in the world championship well five laps now completed 35 to go and so we've had three separate leaders already marco lucinelli has led franco Ancini is now leading kenny roberts had a little dabble in the front and the hondas are definitely going very well and Freddie Spencer up to second, so Marco Lucanelli after that early lead has now dropped back to third place. So let's just recap on the order. Uncini is leading, Freddie Spencer is second, Marco Lucanelli is third, and fourth, Kenny Roberts. Kenny Roberts not having the race we expected. This new Yamaha has a few teething problems. Kenny's sorting it out, but uh, isn't entirely happy with the bike yet. Now that's Uncini on the latest Suzuki, the Square 4. They call that bike the RG Gamma 2, that's the official designation. Little wheelies as they pop past the start finish line again. So there you see the order. Uncini, Lucinelli, Spencer, Roberts, Barry Sheen still in fifth. Graham Crosby in sixth place. Graham Crosby after that slow start. Really charging well. Well, can Barry Sheen make up some of that lost ground? Really is quite a distance behind those four. And Cheney, a very stylish rider. Keeps all his legs and elbows tucked in fairly well. Freddie Spencer, in contrast, is very spectacular. Slides well off the saddle. Well, there you see man and machine. Poetry in motion, the two 
almost as one. Mancini tucked behind the bubble. Then he pops his head up, uses his body to help with the braking as he goes into the Tramonto corner. Round that corner, third, maybe even second gear. Accelerates out. Just about fourth gear there. Then down into the other slow corner, the Quiresia. That's a second gear corner. There's the Canelli, there's Kenny Roberts. Bumping a little bit over that patched piece of circuit. Any one of these four could still win this one. Boncini. Looking in relative command. About a second over his nearest rival, Freddie Spencer. And Freddie Spencer will be so keen to win his first Grand Prix. He'll be trying absolutely everything. And Graham Crosby is in front of Barry Sheen. Barry Sheen has dropped to sixth place. Well, I wonder if Barry's got some problems. There's the familiar number seven, the Yamaha, a square four. The same bike, in fact, the OW60 model, the same bike as Graham Crosby. And I would suggest that Barry isn't a little bit of a problem because he hasn't had any problems sorting out Graham Crosby so far this season. Very unhappy with the bike in practice. Changed all the suspension on Friday night, all the settings. And on Saturday still couldn't make the bike handle quite as well as he'd hoped couple of seconds off on Chini's best lap in practice there is Franco two very good years as a privateer in 500cc Grand Prix racing on the Suzuki and Chini then last year could only finish 13th in the world championship nevertheless Roberto Galina who lost his star rider Lucinelli decided to sign on Chini and Chini has been the revelation of the season there's absolutely no question of doubt about that and Cini is leading. There is Marco Lucanelli on the Honda. There is the style of Kenny Roberts, the Californian. King Kenny, three times the world champion. And a little bit of a wobble on for Kenny as he goes past the crowded main grandstand. Kenny's Yamaha has got a very special a rear suspension system that nobody else has got a concertina type system as well as the v4 engine and the combination obviously proving a bit of a handful kenny's still very much the keen competitor twice an american champion three times a world champion lost it last year to marco lucanelli freddie spencer meanwhile very much the new boy of grand prix motorcycle racing there's Uncini again, hard on the brakes. These bikes lapping at about 123 seconds. And there is Giacomo Agassini, 15 times a world champion, and now a team manager, the team manager of Graham Crosby. And he must be pleased with Graham's performance as he moves up the field. There is Freddie Spencer and the position. Uncini leading, Spencer second, Roberts third, Luccinelli is fourth, Crosby is fifth, and Court Ballington now in sixth place, where is Barry Sheen? Franco and Cheney starting to pull away now from Freddie Spencer. Kenny Roberts is in third place. Marco Lucanelli fourth. But Graham Crosby is having a great charge of moving up and catching Roberts and Lucanelli. So we'll have to watch for Graham Crosby. But Franco and Cheney riding the race of his life. Undoubtedly his best performance so far. But one little mistake and definitely waiting to pounce is Freddie Spencer, who'd still like so much to win his first Grand Prix. Well, there is Kenny Roberts. Kenny Roberts now being challenged again by Marco Lucanelli. Both read the, led the race in the early stages, now fighting over third place, and perhaps could come under a bit of pressure from Graham Crosby. Kenny Roberts, Marco Lucanelli. And was that Barry Sheen they just passed in? Somebody was touring. It might have been Barry Sheen. Barry Sheen had dropped down to seventh on my lap chart and now I think he was touring we'll have to wait and see oh it will be a very bad sad day for Barry if he can't finish this one Franco and Gini riding superbly well very neat and tight as you see through there Freddie Spencer still keeping the pressure on quite a bit there is Kenny Roberts the yellow helmet with the eagle on the side of it and fourth, Marco Lucanelli with the star on his helmet. And there is Graham Crosby, bike number five, in fifth position. Red and white Yamaha OW60. And then a long, long way till the next rider. And the next rider is Court Ballington on the Kawasaki, the lone green Kawasaki in this race. 
500cc square four monocoque chassis to totally different sort of frame to the other bikes they've got tubular frames this one has got a, a monocoque design sheet metal design the smallest of the four major japanese manufacturers kawasaki always run their bikes in green and look at cork the former 250 350 world champion just popping a wheelie as he goes past the pits and there you see the flutter oh, there is barry sheen barry sheen cruising into the pits well that looks uh, pretty final to me barry sheen into the pits oh tragedy for barry sheen he's not going to finish this one but there is freddie spencer and marco lucanelli and uh, kenny roberts still contesting that third place plenty of bite left in this race yet Marco having a nibble. Can he go down the inside of Kenny? No, he can't. Very difficult part of the track. This Kenny reckoned that this is the key point on the race circuit, he told me in practice. And Kenny Roberts and Marco Lucanelli. Kenny getting a bit of a wobble on. Past the pitch, still Kenny in third place, but Marco is turning up the wick of the Honda. And you have to be so careful on these 125 mile an hour motorcycles just a bit too much of the throttle hand and it'll spit you off and down the road and that's not a pleasant experience at all graham crosby still after that pair kenny world champion for three years but lost it last year to the man he's racing against still leading franco and Cini. Franco, the former Harley Davidson rider. Franco started racing in 1974. And as I said, in 1977 was the runner up in the 250 World Championship. Now a fully fledged Suzuki rider. And Barry Sheen out of it. And I have just heard from the pits that Barry Sheen had engine problems. They're not quite sure what the problem actually is. That's uh, Pelletier on his uh, Morbidelli. But Barry Sheen thinks that perhaps it was an ignition problem or maybe even a crankshaft broken, but uh, he is definitely out of the race. Well, Barry Sheen will almost certainly drop now from his second place in the World Championship. It means he really will have to work hard at the next event at Assen in four weeks' time to make up the deficit which is lost today. Never a happy weekend for Barry Sheen, but a very good one, so far at least, for Franco and Cini. 27 year old married comes from Racanati in Italy I hope I pronounced that one right and there you see the floodlights this I think is the only race circuit in the world where they can hold racing on the floodlights and indeed they do car racing in fact uh, not bike racing so far ten years this circuit has been built and there after 16 laps Franco Ancini, you see, is leading by 2.25 seconds from Spencer. Third is Roberts, fourth Lucanelli, fifth Crosby, sixth Ballington, and Barishin, of course, now completely off the frame. A fine mixture of curves here at the Mazzano track. And this long, fast straight, and there you see Graham Crosby shooting past the back marker, and is now very much Hounding Lucanelli and Roberts. Freddie Spencer. His spectacular style on the Honda number 22. There is number three. And number one. And look, Graham Crosby is right up behind Marco Lucanelli now. And he just powers past him. As they race past the pits. Graham Crosby goes past the Honda. I'm not sure if Marco's got a bit of engine problem. But Graham Crosby is really on his way. Graham Crosby has never won a world championship race. Came to Britain three years ago and was a sensation on a high bar Kawasaki. Did extremely well at the TT. Has since been back to the TT and won there. Freddie Spencer has never been to the TT and he leads a group of back markers. They're starting to go through the field now. Up to about 13th place. That group battling for 13th, 14th, 15th positions. And now Graham Crosby on the tail of Kenny Roberts. Randy Momola in the picture has been lapped. Randy Momola having a very unhappy race. 
Oh yes, and Randy's in the pits. Randy has just pulled into the pits out of our picture, talking to manager Dim Doyle, it looks like, yes. Dim Doyle leaning over, Randy shakes his head. Well, what can the problem be? Only four points in the World Championship so far this year. And an absolutely dreadful season for Randy on his factory Suzuki. But this factory Suzuki is undoubtedly in the lead now. Ten seconds after 30 laps. Three quarter distance. Franco and Cheney is leading from Spencer. Crosby, Roberts, Lucanelli and Ballington. That order fairly well set. Although Lucanelli could move up and repass Kenny Roberts. There is Graham Crosby, the Kiwi star, currently learning to fly, enjoys flying. Very erudite young man, has had his arguments with Randy Mamola, was Randy's teammate last year, and fell out with Randy in the biggest possible way, and in fact, Suzuki sacked Crosby at the end of the year. Now he's with Yamaha, Freddie Spencer is, is with Honda, three-cylinder bike, Certainly showing it's the equal of the majority of the Yamahas and Suzukis. And that wasn't the case last year or the year before. Great return to 500cc racing after a full start by Honda. And Freddie Spencer, a great find. 20 years old now, was a teenage sensation. Many bike fans will remember how he came to the transatlantic races. Oh, and a crash! That looks like Sergio Pellandini. Pellandini, the Swiss rider, is down. He looks okay. And his bike doesn't look too badly damaged. Well, they can spit you off so quickly, those bikes. Medical aid, very quick to Palandini. Well, he's not unconscious. He looks okay. He might have a, perhaps a broken collarbone. That's one of the regular injuries in motorcycle racing. Palandini looks okay. And actually, his bike doesn't look too bad either. Well, Franco and Cini very definitely in command of this motorcycle race looks all set to score 15 world championship points unless something goes wrong in the closing stages fine neat style of franco he's the riders representative incidentally on the fim he advises on circuit safety and he was the man that led the boycott at nagaro well now he comes to the finish line and franco and Cini has won it on unlucky number 13 lucky today for franco and Cini. He waves to the 60,000 Italian fans and he'll beat the darling of those fans for certain. There's the order, and Cheney first, second Spencer, third Crosby, fourth Roberts, good ride from Crosby, fifth Lucinelli, sixth Cork Ballington, seventh Katayama, and a very happy Franco and Cheney giving the Roberta Galina team a great win, and he pops a wheelie, celebrates his victory with a wheelie. Well, they're just coming into the picture. Second place for Freddie Spencer. His best World Championship finish and the best World Championship finish by Honda with their new three-cylinder racer. So now it's the victory scenes. And there are the World Championship. And that puts Uncini in the lead of the World Championship, equal with Kenny Roberts, both on 48 points. Barry Sheen still has 36. Graham Crosby, 26 after his fine ride. Fifth, Freddie Spencer, 22. Sixth, Lucanelli, 18. And Takazumi Kata.